So now let's move on and talk about animating your text because, of course, that's really what the majority of what you're going to want to do when you build text objects in motion. Of course, that scrolling and crawling stuff we were just doing is animating. Now we're going to get into a bunch of other different types of animating, more generic and, and a lot more custom as well. So let's start by creating a brand new text object. Let's just type macprovideo.com. Make that a little bit larger. Let's maybe give it a little Mac Pro video orange color. We've got our great text object. And now we want this to appear on screen. We want it to type on. Well, there's two different ways to do a type on effect. First of all, in the layout pane, there's a category of parameters called type on. And here we can animate the letters appearing or disappearing. So if we wanted the letters to appear from off, we would just move the end slider to the beginning and then animate that end slider to come on. You can optionally have those letters fade in or not. If they don't fade in, they come in like this. If they do fade in, you get a little bit of more of a soft adjustment as the letters appear. Either way, all you have to do is animate this little parameter. And we already know how to do basic animation. You just put your playhead where you want to start, turn on the record button, and set your parameter to where the opening setting. In this case, I'm going to set the end to zero. Let's go forward a few seconds here. And now I'm going to drag that end slider on. Turn off my record button, go back, and play. And now I get my little animated effect where the letters uh, type on. I can change the fade in option because that wasn't keyframed. So now I can you know, dynamically change that and very easily create that great little effect. That is a way to do a type on effect. And it's a little, you know, you could customize this. We can control exactly how far apart the keyframes are. We could have it start and stop. We could do all sorts of stuff. If we wanted the letters to then fade off or type off, rather, we'd set a turn on recording, set a new keyframe for the start parameter. Let's say we just go right about to frame 133 and set our start parameter to zero. And then over the next 60 frames, bring our start up to the top and now when we play this the letters type on they sit there for a second or two and then they type off just like that and we'll turn off that record button you always want to make sure you turn that record button off when you're done making your adjustments so that is one way to do a very simple and easy uh, type on effect but there's another way that's even easier and that would be using a behavior. So I'm going to reset the type on effect, and it's going to click the reset button there, and it's going to reset it to its defaults. And now there's no animation. And now with the object selected, click the add behavior button, go to text animation, and choose type on. Type on creates a behavior that basically does the exact same thing. It types on the letters. The speed at which it happens, just like all behaviors, is based on the duration of this bar the duration of the behavior bar. If I shorten the, the, the bar, I speed up the effect, and now the letters go on quicker. If you want to add that fade in option, there's a check mark there in the HUD and in the inspector, and now we'll get the exact same thing with a little fade on for each letter. That's it. Nice and easy, very easy to do. This does not have a type off option, but you can basically do that the old way. But that shows you another very simple and easy way to employ a behavior to do a very simple effect like this little type on.